Peter, just stop for 10 seconds next to these guys. They're already cheering, dude. Party time at 8 a.m. Good morning. Do you recognize these beautiful trees? We have just passed the Op Luang National Forest and we are headed to Om Khoi. So stoked. Thanks for joining us today. Lovely to be out on another adventure in Thailand. One of my best buddies, Peter. Starting off at an altitude of 1,010 meters. 26 degrees, beautiful day. Beautiful morning to cycle. So if you remember our last trip, we went that way to Masariang. Today, heading straight south. A totally new district for me, and even Peter has never been here before. Stoked. Both Peter and I are very lucky. We almost never have flats. So 3K in, I guess the weather's still nice. Oh well. These kind of things just got to be patient and just get it fixed. this from yesterday? That's amazing. You got tamarind, you've got charcoal, you've got leaves, bird feathers, and then a special black twine. I'm sure is significant. Oh, and red twine. Oh, here we go, man. We are now in Omkoi district. Those views, huh? Tung Lao Om Kai. Peter and I have done 52K. So these are the first shops, but let's get to the town center. Awesome. Okay, so we are in for a treat straight away. I just saw what looks to be perfect, yes. You gotta follow your nose in situations like this. I just saw all those pots. <laughs> I just trusted my instincts. Peter's <laughs> Peter's laughing. <laughs> yeah. Oh my, what a spread. This is amazing. My, she just has all the treats here. I bet that's a genuine gang hung lay. Gang hung Okay. <laughs> Do you want to share? We need to stay here a few days just with her. So this is Buffalo. This is proper northern Thai. Yeah, this is amazing. So 
So we've just arrived in the town of Omkoi. We were looking for coffee, but this this just looked this just looked perfect. So I had to stop. So Peter picked some things. He's sitting down. I am going with the the pickled bamboo and the liver and peppers, and then gang ho, which is a northern classic, kind of everything fried together. And then we got a Geng Hung Lei to share just because it's uh, it's one you try when you're in the north of Thailand. Just every shop, you just gotta try the Geng Hung Lei. It's, it's probably the classic and most tasty northern Thai food dish. It's a meat heavy dish, but it's a winner. Yeah, I'm drooling already. Let's eat. <laughs> okay, Peter is having a great time telling a story of one of our other good friends who is in some of these videos, by the way. I just have to show this food or it's gonna be gone. It's so good. It's the Gang Hung Lei, the northern style, kind of stir fry everything together. Thank you, Peter. Excuse me, there's the Gang Hung Lei. This is Gang Ho. Awesome with the pork belly in there. And then these massive pieces of pork liver. Amazing. Fried with onions and chilies. And then, Peter, if you. If you wouldn't mind, let's have a cheers, a taste test of this one. <laughs> mm, the ginger. Wow, that liver is tasty. That's probably my favorite. It's so good, Peter even went for another whole plate. And this is our first stop. Wow, so we're gonna have some coffee after this and then continue on to Matthew. Wow. Incredibly tasty. Okay, heading out of Omkai on the way to Matun. It's gonna be about 75k from here. On the way, you can see the road immediately is not quite as nice as the road we came in on, but it looks fun. Already, you can see the people look and feel quite different than the Thailand, the central Thailand that we might know. Wow, that went straight from zero to 15%. <laughs> it's like when you come to these, when you come to these less visited places, like everybody's your tourist guide. <laughs> yeah. Suggesting what you might want to see, how far it is to the next hotel, or where the good food is. Yeah. She gave us five recommendations without us even asking. Yeah, the first time. This might be shaky, but I am on the steepest part. Just got to show you that view. <laughs> Just riding like a hunchback, drifting around the road. One hand climbing. <laughs> I need some more coffee. Big cloud is just up there waiting. As is the top of today's riding. However, <laughs> gonna see that top twice because we're gonna go down the other side and then back up and then all the way back to Omkwai. So, getting a look from both sides. Oh, it's so pretty right now. This hill is kind of blocking the wind now. You can see like, not just a few, but like 10 rows of mountains. Both sides. I'm happy to be here. Long, me nam pao, kai ma kat. Nam pao, me 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 nam pao, me
เรียกว่าอะไรครับภาษาภาษามูซือถ่ายรูปอูถ่ายค่ะอูอูอูถ่ายค่ะอูถ่ายคูอูถ่าย thank you นอกครับข้างหน้าจะมีหมู่บ้านสื่อน้ำอะครับหรือเมื่อกี้ข้างหน้าใช่ไหมครับขอบคุณครับขอบจูสก้าจะเช็คอัพที่วิลล์เฮ้ยทุกคเป็นมากไปแล้วนะครับวันนี้เราไปกันเยอะมากเลยนะครับเพราะว่าเราชอบอ่านคอมเมนต์ของคนทั่วโลกเยอะมากเลยนะครับวันนี้เราไปกันเยอะมากเลยนะครับวันนี้เราไปกันเยอะมากเลยนะครับวันนี้เราไปกันเยอะมากเลยนะครับวันนี้เราไปกันเยอะมากเลยนะครับวันนี้เราไปกันเยอะมากเลยนะครับวันนี้เราไปกันเยอะมากเลยนะครับวันนี้เราไปกันเยอะมากเลยนะครับวันนี้เราไปกันเยอะมากเลยนะครับวันนี้เราไปกันเยอะมากเลยนะครับวันนี้เราไปกันเยอะมากเลยนะครับวันนี้เราไปกันเยอะมากเลยนะ Is very much my comfort zone. Eleven years ago, not the case. But while I am so happy to share these videos because I want to inspire you, to be totally honest, most of the things you see me doing are what I do every single day. This is my normal life. This day, though, this ride into this Ban Musa village, which in English is Lisu, this is actually me stepping out of my comfort zone. I do not even know a single word of a language that I can use here, and back there talking to those girls at the viewpoint, I can tell that they do not use Thai language very much in their daily lives. I have only my life experiences here to guide me, just as much as any other traveler. Basically, this is me being a tourist in my own backyard, and maybe in a few months, I will be able to give you real details and tell full-length stories of my time here. For now, though, just investigating, and I am just a traveler passing through. Good afternoon, everyone. I am in a Moose village, a people group I don't know very much about, and you have to be willing to venture on roads like this to hang out with them. I see raising little pigs, chickens, a lot of dogs, a lot of beautiful flowers, and wow. Some big sky, big mountain views. Man, I love the the style of construction. Yeah, I don't know much about these people, and I'm gonna try and ask and start reading a little bit. Stay tuned for a full video. Wow. Okay. Coming down was much more crazy than I thought. A lot of dirt, and you will see it going back up. Oh wow! Okay, so we are still in this huge bowl, so there's no easy way out. I actually have to go back the way we came in, and you'll see that way on the way out just how crazy the road is. It got to be dirt and gravel so fast and so dusty. Whew, and now we're down down here again at 400 meters. And it is hot. I'm gonna get some food. I'm gonna get some drinks, and then we're gonna ride all the way back up to the top from this side. Fun. Message to Peter. Even though you're over there, sometimes it is a love-hate relationship with you, man. 
but I will always choose to continue going on these rides with you. <sighs> when it's only Coca-Cola, water, and Lay's potato chips for nutrition, how many days in a row can I take it? So these villages are so small that unless you come when it's mealtime, the people all eat, they cook at their own house, they eat at their own house, they grow their own vegetables. So sometimes there is nothing to buy but potato chips, even in Thailand, yes. And I am under a beautiful mulberry tree. Whew. Send me some love, people, even retroactively, even in the past. Because obviously I'm going to up those videos next week and this suffering will be done, but there is a monster climb ahead of us to get back home. Trying to make it before pitch dark. Let's go. Yet another HC climb somewhere in Northern Thailand. <laughs> Let's do it. This is a paved part. The first paved part and I think it's the only because coming down didn't see anything else. I can talk to you for 15 seconds. This side is not nearly as steep as the other which is great because I am starting to get tired. So I know I can make it back because I have done every once in a while something as difficult as this on the bike and I don't take it for granted the protection that God has given me. Humans have amazing willpower. If you test your limits, you will be amazed at your own self, I guarantee it. So, this climb is at least one more hour and then it's probably two hours till home. So I'm gonna get there in the dark. And we left at 8 a.m. So a big day of riding again. This is what we came for. Oh man. One hour down. I hope half hour left. I like these kind of roads, but it's just, we've been riding for so long. The body is just getting sore. But these roads are super fun. I love mixed gravel and broken roads like this. I love it. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Okay, see you soon. Oh, so many thumbs up. I wasn't about to crack. That climb is hard, but I wasn't about to crack because I got about a thousand thumbs up and cheers from every person in that village along the way. Not gonna give up. I am far from home. I do not belong here. I am a guest. I am so blessed to be enjoying these views today. I'm so blessed to have the chance and the ability to come here, the freedom to come here, and the people. I barely know anything about them, but what I do know is they are overlooked. They are barely welcome here. They are little known, little understood. They don't have much besides just vegetables and each other. Some dirt roads, but they have loved on me today, cheered for me today. What a good day. It's been four days of riding to get here. I don't know what else to say. Beyond words. Thank you, people of Ban Metern, Ban Musa. I would love to come back again. See you next time. I gotta go because it's gonna get dark, but I would love to come back and learn more, stay with you more. Explore more of your home. Until next time, be blessed. God bless. Peace and love.
show you the gorgeous green, like a glowing green. Excuse my voice, I guess, from breathing like <laughs> two hours of that gravel dust. This is the last town, and then there's that final climb. Not so big compared to what we've done already, but final climb and then down to Omkoi again for dinner. Yahoo! Okay, see you in about an hour. Later. Hey, -o. thank you. Can you say that again, Peter? I got some snazzy clothes. <laughs> when, we, when you bow, you just have to go and buy a t-shirt and shorts. <laughs> oh, so, I'm so happy he was, he was right there waiting for me to welcome me. And also waiting at the main town intersection were about 50 spinning chickens. This cannot be resisted. Look at that. So I asked her for half a chicken, cut up, a plate full of fried vegetables, clean, and then they also have some like food made to take away here. And I saw this curry just looks awesome. Have it with some sticky rice. In the north, people prefer sticky rice. Thank you. Oh man, we might we might need four of those. That's <laughs> awesome. I almost ordered another chicken, but it's good. It's good that we didn't. But wow, this lady is amazing. So motherly. Wow. Okay. Okay. Maybe see you again for coffee. Wow. Really got lucky too because it started blasting down with rain about 12 minutes after I arrived. Really. Wow. Special end to a great, another great day. So. We decided to stay at a hotel, not go all the way back, but I mean, it was impossible by that point after 210 kilometers, these legs are done. And Peter, absolute legend, Peter, look what he got me. He went to the night market. <laughs> Amazing. He got full clothes, he got soap. Amazing, unbelievable, even socks. What a guy, what a good guy. So, gonna call this a night. I hope you had a blast watching this video. I hope you learn that there are better views <laughs> and better humans always waiting out there for you to meet, for you to see, for you to experience. You just gotta go out there and trust in humanity, I guess. If there's anything that I would want you to learn from me, it's to trust in the good that is in the world. The love that humans can give each other doesn't need language. Of course, language helps, but doesn't need anything. Humans can be great to each other. Whew. I hope you love watching these videos. I hope you go and enjoy in a list that I've made of other cycling for food videos, but today for so much more than food, 